welcome back to another video where today's video is going to be about the history of the Canadian Ram cruiser tank. In today's video I will talk about the history of this vehicle and in the background I will have some footage of this tank in War Thunder. While it is not truly historical, it will show you a good image of how this tank looked like. So let's begin. During World War II, Canada saw that they lacked modern equipment and they used mainly World War I era equipment. Canada finally decided to produce their own modern tank and they decided to use the M3B tank as a start. The hull would be similar to the M3, but the turret would be Canadian. At that point in time, Canada had very little production, especially in the military, going on. So the locomotive industry had to build the new tank. It was supposed to have a 75mm gun, but it was not prepared to have one. A 40mm 2-pounder anti-air gun was used on the first Ram Mark 1s. The main gun was later upgraded to the 75mm gun and the tank was renamed the Cruiser Tank Mark II. The arm thickness went up to about 3.5 inches, which is almost 90 millimeters, on the thicker parts of the vehicle. It featured a Continental R975 gasoline-fueled engine with 400 horsepower that could take the tank up to 25 miles per hour, which is about 40 kilometers per hour, while weighing 30 tons. Five crew operated the tank. The tank had two .30 caliber machine guns to take out the infantry, as well as one .30 caliber machine gun on the hull for anti-air defense. The M4 Sherman made the ram tank outdated. The M4 was a better tank, so it was used instead of the Ram. The Canadians stocked up on them, as well as some other countries, including Australia and Britain. Therefore, no Rams ever saw combat during the war. Instead, it was used as a training vehicle in Canada, as well as Britain. The Ram design was later used in some other vehicles, such as armored personal carriers. In all, about 2,150 rams were produced, yet none of them saw combat during World War II. One interesting fact about the ram is a ram without its turret was called the ram kangaroo. So, the ram, it's a very largely produced vehicle, it was a largely produced vehicle, and yet it saw no combat due to the Sherman. Even though the designs even though the design was later used, it was still used without the turret, which was probably one of the most Canadian parts about it, since the hull was based off of the M3. One other interesting fact though about it is that some of the other designs featured a flamethrower. So, that's pretty much the history of the RAM. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.